What's up, y'all? It's yes and I'm back with another one. Hey, I'm finna go pick up my sewing machine, the double needle. Uh, I got some 138 thread. It's like not really all that thick, but it's not thin. And that's what I like to use. That or bigger. Yeah, 96. 96 ain't too bad, but I like 138 a little better. Um, let me get this damn hood out of my truck. So, look at my log pal. It's getting, it's getting slimmer. I'll be done in about a week. Little by little. Whole yard about to get cleaned up. Yeah, so now that I got this, all the trims and dashes and all the small stuff in my silver box Chevy, I've been putting it off because I wanted it to match. I wanted French seams on all my pieces because it make it definitely make a difference when, when everything like coordinate because I got a French seam in the seats and not piping. So I want it to be pretty, pretty clean. Fresh cut, but yeah, we here. Hey, what's going on, sir? This is um nine here. And to go in here, you know, for your knee leave and all that, uh, they inform me that I might be up to six months trying to he wait said. on that. All right, we get it ordered. You see, I just do this for now. Mm -hmm. Open from the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's about forty-three. Forty. About two forty-three. I think about forty-three dollars difference in the part there. And they gave me a part price on the stuff, and then when they they called me back and they had double the price on it there because of the scarcity and stuff coming out of China. Yeah. That's so cool. Something. It's kind of like they got you over Barry. What, what choice do you have? Right. <laughs> Where else you gonna go? Uh, one, let's change the top out and put the 138. I want to see what it does. You got, you got some 138? Yeah, right here. I just brown. Oh, come on. You got to go see your new sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Not sure. Not 100% sure what we're gonna be doing. But uh, little small pieces and accessories and stuff. Dashes, trims, door pounds, some door pounds. A lot of people on custom door pounds. They don't know what custom costs. Uh, but a lot of look small stuff, we're gonna take. KB sewing, I'm gonna be sewing y'all. Look. I'll probably do some sewing when I'm tired of dust in the shop. So, y'all seeing the new setup. This stuff's nice too. And that's why I be seeing with equipment. Even though it was donated, I just put $1,200 into it. A double new sewing machine, today's market. This is like a standard size. You can get the ones with the long, long arms. Um, it's like a standard 11, 12 inch. I really wanted a 20, but it was like $5,200. You know, we don't do that much showing about that. So I was gonna buy one of these for like 3,200 was the price at the time, but now it's like $4,000. Everything just keeps going up. So we gotta put some fresh oil in this thing. This is a self oiling machine. About a gallon, cause I ain't wanna uh, keep going back and forth to the store. I always buy everything in bulk. Alright. I guess that's good enough. But all that's gonna go over there. I'm gonna put a little more. Uh, don't get too crazy now. Nah, this is a dip over there. So I'm gonna go over there. I need to get a little tube for this. 
Cause you gotta oil this one. The one that was in with, here you go. Yeah, you gotta oil this one. Yeah, one or so. All right. I'm going to show y'all what we're trying to do, even though we ain't got two same color threads. I got blue and black, so I'm going to show y'all with blue and black. But I'm going to show y'all on the light piece of material what we're trying to do. All right, so look, I just cut this piece like this, right? I'm not going to sew it. So right now. I see how long this tape. That's why I stick to fast. And I'm just doing this off my eye. I usually measure the material. Table clean this up real quick. These hand prints off here, man. These boys trip. These folks trip, man. Nah, I just can't. Uh, Y'all seen Mr. Johnny? He can get it. I'm gonna load it like I load it all the time. I ain't all that. This is how you guys do it. This is how I do it. You work good on them. I ain't never did on this. Not cut the X's. I got no uh, neat thing, so just so you know. So how do you open it? I mean, lift it. This one don't got a, a knee lever. It's supposed to. But. So it's going to be pretty tricky with this. All right. So, all right. We got a piece to where it ain't going to rip apart. You know it's looking crazy. All right. This is the whole point. And, and, and initially, you would glue both sides or... You could open it up and put this something called basking tape right here and then put a backing on it so it have extra strength. But video purposes, I'm going to just keep it separated by my, by my fingers and then uh, try to get it in a sense. And this ain't even a sharp curve, but it's just a curve. I'm going to show y'all what we're trying to go for. It got a line on it. So where this line at, you see? The little mark, the white mark. Mm -hmm. That's direct center. So, that's what, what we're trying to do. Turn it down. See how slow I'm going. Is this not in the middle? It's off. Oh, I'm looking yeah, at it. Yeah, it's off the sale. I didn't know I didn't know what she was trying to do, so I just ain't say nothing. Oh uh, yeah, the line not in the middle. I'm looking at it now. Let's see. 
It's not directly in the middle. So let me scuff this up. Get a chalk line. Give me a second. I can't eyeball this. I ain't gonna need a lot of y'all. Mm. Yeah, I need like a, a angle grinder to put a sharp, shiny mark on. Right, that kind of look middle-ish. Yeah, I'm kind of middle-ish. You see? Yeah, it's better, babe. Putting that in a protect machine. All right, so this is what we're going for. I still got some uh some seat time I need with it, but trying to get the gaps even. All right, these two gaps, uh, the threads exact matching. And say if you're doing a seat and it got a it got a curve like this, these gonna be shorter. And these are gonna be longer, but they still gonna match. So when you come back around this thing, it's gonna match. That's what we're trying to go for instead of, you got a line, and then you got this, and then you got this. Wait, y'all probably can't see them. No, we get, what, we get what you're saying, the uneven yeah, outside like, lines. Put it on that side. Boom. We ain't we trying to not have that. But you gotta if you a detailed person, you you cool. You, you know what I'm saying. But you don't care. This ain't for you. I'm a real I be trying to make everything over the top. That's just me. So like I say some people cool with uh mismatch and all that. Not me. Uh, let me see how I'm trying. Oh, yeah. So, let me cut this one back. There you go. This is what I'm not trying to have. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> trying to not have that. But, uh, yeah, I need some more seat time with this machine. This is my first time. Ooh. Well, yeah, it's so good. Gotta keep playing with it. Yeah, it does look good. We have to get another roll of black. For my own stuff. But it looks super good. Matter of fact, I'm finna, I'm finna sew a curve right now. And then on hand on 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 super sharp curves, you a hand stitch this. For beginners, you see, uh, when we went to the guy's class, he was going though. He slowed down, but he didn't have to Pay hand stitch. Yeah, he was just going. I was like, wow. Good, all right, we're about to get back on the on a single needle. I gotta get some more thread for this. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all see how this longer up top and short at the bottom, but they match the holes and everything. It's, it matches. That's what we're trying to go for. 
all that zigzag and short on one side, long on the other side, but they don't match. This is to me though. It's ugly. I hate it. I'll be like, mm. like you can have a hundred thousand dollar car. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no hater or nothing, but I just see, I just see stuff like that. I'll be like, damn. It's all equipment, man. You get the best equipment. Shoot, you can look at it and be like, damn, because there's some cars I see, like that C10, it was a master tech, man. That thing was clean. All right, man. I'm just giving y'all a little run through of the new thing. Just getting to play with it, but I gotta get back to work. SES, man. I'm out.